Dinosaur Visual Guide. Now we will take you to the world of dinosaurs. We all love dinosaurs and we see them all the time in cartoons or movies. The truth, however, is that they are creatures of the distant past. Ever wonder when they walked Earth? Let's take your parents for example. They were born about 40 years ago. Your grandparents were probably born about 70 years ago. And long before that, the pyramids were built about 4,700 years ago. Even long before that, humans started using fire 120,000 years ago. Monkeys became humans 250,000 years ago. Mammoths were born 4 million years ago. And if we keep going back, we will see that dinosaurs were born 250 million years ago. They lived through the Jurassic, Jurassic, and Cretaceous periods until they all died out because the asteroid hit Earth 66 million years ago. So you see, dinosaurs are very much indeed creatures of the past. We've started learning about them through recent research, but there remains a lot that we need to learn. There are two kinds of dinosaurs, carnivorous and herbivorous. The T-Rex was a carnivorous dinosaur that most of us either know or have heard of that walked on two legs. On the other hand, most herbivorous dinosaurs walked on four legs. Let's keep this general rule of thumb in mind for now. By the way, one of the biggest dinosaurs to have ever walked to Earth was actually an herbivorous dinosaur. Now, let's take a look at some of the dinosaurs we know. Tyrannosaurus Rex the Tyrannosaurus rex, also called T-Rex, was a big carnivorous dinosaur. It could bite so hard that it could literally crush the bones of whatever it was biting. With a body length of 12 meters and a weight of 7 tons, however, the T-Rex wasn't able to go any faster than 30 kilometers per hour, and bushing its prey was its only means of obtaining food. The T-Rex is believed to have lived in what is known today as the United States some 70 million to 66 million years ago during the late Cretaceous. Research has shown that a newborn baby T-Rex was about as big as a chihuahua. This is what the T-Rex would have looked like if it were still around today. Spinosaurus. The Spinosaurus was a large carnivorous dinosaur and had a protrusion on its back that looked like a boat sail. Researchers believe that this tail-like protrusion was a Spinosaurus way of adapting to the hot weather. The Spinosaurus would spend the better part of the day by the river, eating fish or whatever else it could find there. The Spinosaurus is a member of the Seropoda, a clade of dinosaurs that walked using two feet to which the T-Rex also belongs. The Spinosaurus is considered sizable among the members of this clay. This is what the Spinosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. Plesiosaurus The Plesiosaurus was a small carnivorous dinosaur that lived in water. Instead of legs, it had four oar-like fins, which allowed the dinosaur to swim freely in water. Once a plesiosaurus is considered a small dinosaur with a body length of 2 meters, it was able to move its fins however it wanted to, making it a skilled swimmer that was able to catch fish, squid, and other prey in the breeze. The clade of dinosaurs that possess fins, such as the plesiosaurus, are not actually considered dinosaurs. These animals are called the plesiosauria. Many dinosaurs laid eggs, but not the plesiosauria. Their babies were born directly. Like dolphins, right? This is what the plesiosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today.
Velociraptor. Velociraptors are the small carnivorous dinosaurs from the movie Jurassic Park. While Velociraptors are portrayed as being bigger than humans in the movie, they were, in fact, smaller than humans. Small and fast, Velociraptors moved in groups. They were smart because they had big brains and they also had excellent eyesight, making them extremely skilled hunters even among the dinosaurs. This is what the Velociraptor would have looked like if it were still around today. Carnotaurus The Carnotaurus also goes by Carnosaurus. The name literally means a carnivorous bull. The name of these dinosaurs came from the fact that they had a pair of horn-like protrusions on their head which is something that was rarely seen amongst the dinosaurs. Due to degeneration, the Carnotaurus' forefeet, or what's left of what they used to be, were about 50 centimeters long. Some say the degeneration occurred because of the dinosaurs' lack of use of its forefeet. The Carnotaurus was discovered in Patagonia, in the southern part of Argentina. Of all the carnivorous dinosaurs whose fossils were discovered in the same area, the Carnotaurus are the biggest. This is what the Carnotaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. Tyrannodon The Tyrannodon was a Tyrannosaurus that was able to fly and had a crest sitting over its head. The Tyrannodon had a toothless beak. It is believed that they obtained fish from the sea for food by using their big wings to ride wind currents. The Tyrannodon is the biggest of all pterosaurs. Its size unimaginable when compared to modern-day birds. Its wingspan measured 9 meters when its wings were spread out. However, some believe that on average it weighed only 15 to 25 kilograms. Its name, Tyrannodon, literally means toothless wings. This is what the Tyrannodon would have looked like if it were still around today. Mosasaurus The Mosasaurus was popularized by the movie Jurassic World. It is in fact not categorized as a kind of dinosaur, but rather a type of gigantic marine reptile that lived in the sea. The strongest reptile during the late Cretaceous period, the Mosasaurus had a face similar to that of a monitor lizard and a body similar to that of a whale, cylindrical in shape, making the reptile a skilled swimmer. Zosomosasaurus was the strongest marine creature of its time. Evidence of injury is often found in its uncovered fossils, which is a sign that these reptiles competed amongst themselves. This is what the Mosasaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. Allosaurus a significant number of fossils have been uncovered of the Allosaurus so far, making it one of the most well-researched dinosaurs. While not as destructive as a T-Rex, the Allosaurus, lightweight and able to travel at a speed of over 60 km per hour, was a fast runner. They're also believed to have hunted in groups, making some efficient hunters. The protrusion setting above their eyes seems to have been just an ornament of some sort. This is what the Allosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today. <laughs> Dilophosaurus The word Dilophosaurus literally means a lizard with two crests. The two crests sitting above its head are believed to be ornaments. One of the Dilophosaurus in Jurassic Park has a frill around its neck, like set around the neck of a frilled lizard, and attacks with venomous saliva. Researchers believe that the actual Dilophosaurus had neither a frilled neck nor venomous saliva. They hunted their prey using their sharp teeth and claws. This is what the Dilophosaurus would have looked like if it were still around today.
Those are all the carnivorous dinosaurs we will be looking at today. Check out our next video to learn about herbivorous dinosaurs and how dinosaurs went extinct. See you around!